Hello everyone, if you try to install the mobile version of OpenAI's ChatGPT app on your phone, you will definitely encounter many difficulties because ChatGPT has very strict requirements for the mobile environment. If you are using a VPN, ChatGPT has very strict requirements for VPN nodes, and most VPNs cannot log into ChatGPT. Moreover, if it is an Android phone, there are also requirements for the versions of Google services and Google Play Store apps. This is a high probability that you will not be able to log into ChatGPT. However, now ChatGPT is not our only choice anymore. We can now use Free Google's strongest AI Gemini as an alternative solution. Installing and using Gemini mobile version is much simpler and it can be used normally on phones in general. Moreover, compared with the free version of Gemini Pro and ChatGPT 3.5, my user experience shows that uh, Gemini Gemini is better than ChatGPT. I use it on my phone for language learning translation with excellent results. It also works fine when tested on Huawei's Harmony OS 4 system. Okay, then let's check it out on my Huawei phone. Let's go. Okay, now welcome to my Huawei phone. So on this phone, I'm using the Harmony OS 4, the latest version. Let's check it out, the settings, and go to system and update, software update. Let's have a look. I'm using the latest version of our Harmony OS 4. Yeah, the latest version, checking for the update. You, your software is up to date. So if you are using the latest version of Harmony OS 4, there will be no problem to install the Google GMS. Okay, let's go back. Go back. You can see from the menu here, I already installed the Google GMS on my Huawei Harmony OS 4 system. Click this Google. You can see I'm, I'm already logged on to my account, a Google account here. Yeah, it's perfect to log on to my Google account and uh, go to my desktop. You can see I already installed the Google's applications. If you have not yet installed the Google's GMS, you can refer to my previous video. I can put the video link down below this video description for you to the to, to, to tutorial to how to install the Google GMS on your Huawei Harmony OS 4 system. A detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to in install the native Google GMS. Let's check it out. I'm using the Google Fire installed the Google Google's GMS. You can refer to my previous video. I'll put a video link down below this video description. Okay, you can see it can work perfectly. Yeah, so we can check it out the YouTube. Yeah, we can see YouTube videos perfectly. I installed the YouTube and the Gmail you can receive the Gmail emails from Gmail and Google map yeah the map works perfect and you can using the Google map to do the navigation and the Google Drive yeah the Google Drive uh, work perfectly and the Chrome yeah the Chrome also work perfectly I installed them from the Play Store click the Play Store I already also uh, installed the uh, Play Store here and the chat GPT yeah I also installed the chat GPT on this Huawei phone so it will also work perfectly and the Gemini here yeah, the Gemini also worked perfect. But as I mentioned, if you are using the VPN, then the VPN node is strictly, um, I mean, uh, requirement by the ChatGPT. So I'm now using the Singapore, Singapore VPN. But, uh, you know, Singapore VPN, I can use Gemini. It's perfect. Okay, let's have a look. Hi, I, I, I will make a greeting to the Gemini. Gemini. Yeah, how can I help you today? And, but the ChatGPT, cannot work because ChatGPT has a very strict, I can very strict requirement about the VPN. So I, I'm using Singapore VPN and I think hi. It was set here, disallowed ISP using the VPN, using the VPN here. I will try again. So the ChatGPT, yeah, using VPN, try disable it. So the ChatGPT has a very strict uh, requirement about like VPN and uh, uh, the Google, I mean the Google Google application, Google Play Store, and the Google's GMS version requirement. Which means you must use the latest version of the Google Play Store and uh, the Google GMS Play Google Play services. Otherwise, you cannot install or use the ChatGPT. Yeah, the ChatGPT has a very strict requirement. Okay, so the alternative solution for us is we can use the Gemini because the Gemini is 
better and uh, the requirement is not uh, as strict as the uh, chat GPT. So uh, how to use it? I can use a Gemini to do the translation. Yeah, sometimes I... Then we click the Chrome to open the web page. We can do some web browsing and if we want to do the translation like from English to uh, Japanese or English to Chinese or Chinese to English, you can use a Gemini as your best translation tool. For example, if we want, want to translate this uh, passage, you just select this passage here, select it, and here there is a copy button here, click the copy, and you can go back to the Gemini here, click the Gemini, and you can uh, get this sentence, and you can get a quote here, quote, double quote, and uh, paste here, click paste, yeah, paste this uh, passage here, and get uh, a double quote, and it says something to translate precise, you say precise translation to Chinese because I already uh, key in this word so it will give me this uh, word select directly yeah precise translation to Chinese then send to Gemini it will help you to translate this passage into Chinese or into Japanese the translation quality is uh, best yeah it's just nearly um, like a human translation this is a Ch English to Chinese I was other the other ways like you can do the Chinese to English, yeah, you can do Chinese to English or to the Japanese to English. It's very easy for you to do that. Like this, uh, you cannot understand what does that mean, this sen sentences, and you can also click this passage and click copy and go back to the Gemini and then can you, you can uh, give the double quote here, quote, quote, and paste the passage here and uh, quote, quote, and precise, it's precise translation to English and click send. So it will help you to translation the uh, Chinese into English or Japanese or Korean or other French, Germanese, uh, yes, uh, Germany, it, 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 all the kind of uh, languages. And the other usage, I think it's just like, uh, I mean, like the uh, chat GPT, you can do everything the Gemini can do. And like the uh, it can also can scan your picture, yeah, can read your picture, give you some information about the picture. I think this uh, chat GPT has not yet got this uh, function or the limited function uh, of the chat GPT. We can like click this button here, this uh, photo, yeah, camera button, click it, and you can open the camera and take a picture like uh, it will give you information here. I will take a picture of my keyboard here. Yeah, I will take a picture of my keyboard. Yeah, it will take a picture of my keyboard. Then I will send this uh, picture to uh, Gemini and uh, ask a question. What's this? Okay, then I click send, send it to the Gemini and it will give you some answer. Describe this picture. It will know what is it. Yeah, you can see. This image you send is of a Logic K375. It even know so this keyboard model. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. Yeah, it it will give you the, the uh, identify the model of this uh, keyboard just uh, with uh, this picture. It will identify the model of this keyboard. It's cool. It's really cool. Uh, I think uh, the uh, chat GPT has not yet got uh, this function. Yeah. Okay. So this as a Gemini is a good solution, an alternative solution if you want to use the uh, AI on your Huawei phone. Okay. Next, I will show you how to install the Gemini onto your Huawei mobile phone. Okay. Then I just delete the Gemini from my phone and uh, just uninstall it. And the, this one, Google uninstall it. So now uh, my phone is deleted with the Gemini and I will show you how to install it. The Play Store, we click the Play Store to install the Gemini. Just uh, search the Gemini here. Search the Gemini, just the Gemini. Yeah, the search the Gemini, it will give you the Gemini here, Google Gemini. We just click install this Gemini. Because I'm on the Huawei phone, so if you have not yet installed Google GMS, you just uh, refer to my previous video. I will put the video link down below, the tutorial on how to install it, uh, Google GMS. Okay, Gemini installed, and it will 
uh, uh, click it, Gemini, it will pop up, download or enable the Google app. Gemini mobile app require the Google apps. You can download it or make sure it's enabled from the Google store. It's very easy, just to click go to play store. Yeah, click go to play store. It will help you to install these uh, applications before we can using the Gemini. Okay, click install. We can install this Google. Just be patient. It depends on your internet speed. Just be patient. Okay, finish the installation of the Google applications. Let's go back to the desktop here. So no problem. We just click it, Gemini again. Click it again. Then the second time, if you yeah, the perfect. The second time we open the Gemini here, it will switch to Gemini from Google Assistant. We just scroll down and click switch. Click this button, switch to Gemini. Click it. Okay, let's click OK. Click this OK and uh, click Gemini again. It said Gemini isn't available because this is a location. I mean that this location is not available. Then we need to change your Google account location. If you see this uh, warning said uh, Gemini is gradually expanding to more languages, countries and accounts. Learn more about its availability. So we need to use a Google account which is located like in the US or UK. They support the Gemini. Okay, I go to the Play Store. Then I can switch my account. This account is not available, the Gemini. So I go to click my account and here you can see a drop down list here. Click it and you can see I logged to uh, log on to another account here. So I will switch to this second account. Click it. This account supports Gemini because uh, the location of this is in the US. So my previous uh, Google account is not in the US. So it is not supported. Okay. After I changed my uh, account to this uh, this account supports the Gemini, then I go back to the Gemini again. Again, click the Gemini. Yeah, now you can see we can uh, go to this uh, screen, screen again. Let's click switch and uh, click uh, here. I agree. Yeah, click I agree. Yeah, this time we, because this uh, account uh, supports this uh, Gemini. Yeah, now perfect. And uh, go to the Gemini. You can uh, have a greeting to the Gemini. Let's have a look if it uh, gives you feedback. Yeah, perfect. And if you can want to change the language, you can change the language here. Click this button here on the right side and click the settings here. Click the settings and the language for speaking to Gemini. Click the language. Yeah, you can see you can choose uh, your language you want to the Gemini to use. You can add the add the other language. Click this add button. You can add your other languages like uh, the other Japanese, uh, Deutsch, like all those languages. Let's go back. So that's the whole process on how to install the Gemini onto your Huawei phone. Then you can use your Gemini instead of a uh, Chat GPT. This is a very good solution because Gemini is better. Uh, I mean, the, uh, not as strict as the Chat GPT. The solution because Chat GPT. Uh, it will give it, it will require your VPN uh, strictly require VPN block your VPN and uh, require the Google's GMS versions and Play Store versions but for the Gemini it's easy for you to use and install on the Huawei phone okay if you like my sharing don't forget thumb up and see you next time bye bye